Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Get Crystallized show. I am your host, Coach Crystal, and like crystals, strong women are made under pressure. And I am super excited because I have another amazing, inspirational R3 woman who is going to share her testimony. And we are currently going through our Her Story series, where I have my R3 members share um, their journey with us at R3. So without further ado, I am super excited to bring on my guest, Tracy. Hi, Trace. Hi. Hi. So, so happy that you're here. Thank you for being um, my guest on the show. I would just love for you to start off with um, a little bit of sharing the uh, your, your background, mm -hmm. um, married, kids, your profession. And uh, let's start off with what was your life like before you joined us at R3? Oh, wow. Okay. So a little bit about myself. First of all, I'm a married mom of two boys. I'm 51 years old and my profession, I currently work in human resources um, in the healthcare industry. So right now it's an extremely busy time in the healthcare industry. So um, it's, it's a crazy busy life. Um, but back when, before I joined R3, uh, you know, my life was just as crazy and busy and two young boys kept me on the go. And, you know, I, I was really disappointed in myself. Um, I turned to food a lot for my stress. Um, I just, I ate into, you know, existence, I guess. I don't know. And, and I would see people, you know, I would see runners on the road or I would, you know, have friends that went to the gym and everybody seemed to be living this healthy lifestyle. And I knew I needed to make changes. I knew it wasn't just healthy for me physically. It wasn't healthy for me in mind, body, and spirit, like all three, it just was not healthy. The life I was leading, um, and so, you know, it, it was interesting on a whim, you know, I had a neighbor friend who was feeling the same way as I was and had said to me, Hey, come check out this little black dress challenge with me. And sure, let's okay, I'm willing to try anything, you know, let's go check it out. And that was, you know, just that little brief conversation is what led me to R3 um, and led me to you and, and the rest of the team. So so that that was the intro to our three, like you had mentioned, and it gave us an opportunity to meet and for you to share, uh, you know, where you currently were. And do you remember what you shared with me in terms of what you were looking for and what was your goal at that time? Yeah, I remember a little bit about it. I know I was looking to make change. I was looking to make a significant change in my life. I was tired. I'd spent all of my life being overweight and struggling with weight, um, my, literally my entire life. Um, and I was looking for that change. And I think, you know, I remember some of the key things you, you know, when I, you asked me, you, I think you even asked me that exact question. What are you looking for? And then you just kept diving deeper. And, you know, today we know that as the 10 deep why and, and you know, going wow. into well, why? Well, why do you think that? Why were you like that? And it was really challenging. And I felt like, oh, my goodness, I'm really this is I don't even know this person. I'm starting to explore, you know, reasoning behind why I am the way I am, what's led me here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but that was really an eye opener. And I think, you know, when we talked about goals, when I first started R3, I'm like, man, if I just can get into a routine, where become exercise and nutrition, become part of my lifestyle. And, you know, if I could just lose 20 pounds, if I could just lose that 20 pounds, mm -hmm. I, think I would feel so much better. Mm -hmm. um, so even back then coming into it, that was my goal just to lose 20 pounds and maybe have an opportunity to make fitness uh, part of my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, but it became so much more than that. So, so much more. You know, you're, you're absolutely right where I, I mean, I speak to hundreds of women and their my initial conversation with them is always, I want to lose weight, mm -hmm. period, period. And so, you know, and you and I, now, you know, you oh, know, yeah. because you're living the healthy lifestyle, 
you know, it has to be more than I want to lose weight because if I want to lose weight was a good enough reason, there would be a lot more fit people walking around. So, you know, in that initial conversation, that 10 deep why, meaning I asked you, well, how is it going to change your life if you lose that 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds? What is your life going to look like? Who's going to benefit? Why do you want to do it? And so um, do you remember, and, and I know that you said that you wanted to lose the 20 pounds, but I did. I really, we really dug deep. And one of the things that I remember you sharing with me, you were shocked because you realized that a big part of you wanting to change is that you realized it was your mindset. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, I totally realized. I mean, just in that conversation, you led me to a place of uncomfort. Mm. And by going to a place of uncomfort, though, unlocks a lot of different things um, mm. in your mind and, and unlocks some reasoning as to why things happen or why why I was the way I was. Um, you know, I, I, I go back and I, and I look at that time and, um, you know, we started to go through the mindset and I started, like I said, going to that uncomfortable place that I didn't want to go to, but I knew it was where I needed to go. And I think right then, even before I started the mind coaching calls, I knew what I was looking for was freedom and wow. yeah, it was freedom. I needed to free all of these thoughts in my head about who I was or what people thought of me or how people looked at me. Yes. Um, I needed to free, you know, past relationships, how mm. I looked at myself because of past relationships within my own family. Yes. And that was literally in that, in that meeting, although, you know, it wasn't, I didn't realize it at the time until I started going into the coaching calls and really doing the growth work. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, this, it all made sense to me, our initial conversation and why we went deep like that. Mm -hmm. um, because it helped, that was the first part that helped to unlock these things that were holding me back. Um, you yeah. know, like the little voices, you know, in on your shoulder that tell you maybe you're not good enough or yes. you know forget about it you'll never be able to do this you're you're going to be fat for the rest of your life just yes. forget about it right um and i i in that moment when i walked out of there and i went no this is the place for me this is it this is what i need to do i need to go to these uncomfortable places i need to talk about why yes. i even came here to begin with I need mm -hmm. to, I need to release all of this stuff in my head. And that is, that's how my journey started. It really was the mindset. 100%. Um, 100%. And it's like you said, I went there though, because, oh, I want to lose some weight, want to get healthy, but not realizing I had to unlock a lot of things up here yes. to me to do that. It's so, it's so, um, you know, that's why the mindset is our foundation because of course, we, we have the nutrition and fitness, and we'll, we'll touch upon that a little bit later. But, you know, our core foundation is the mindset. That's our first pillar. We have three pillars, and, and mindset coaching is our first pillar. And you nailed it right there because the emotional weight weighs a lot heavier than we realize. And it is actually the root of, like you had shared, emotional eating how we deal with stress, how we look at ourselves, the how we feel so self-conscious, you know, the present day, I don't like how I feel. And because nothing fits in all the roles and, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, are people judging me? Are people looking at me? That can be rooted all the way back when perhaps you were a little girl. Yes. And, and it shows up. It's, it's the same story. We call it a loop you know, yeah. or like a broken record, but it just shows up differently now. And that's why through our mindset coaching, like you had mentioned, we go to those uncomfortable places to, like you said, untie, we call them sin natures. They're yes. also known as ants, automatic negative thoughts. The ones that you yeah. exactly said, the ones that sound like I'm not good enough. I can't do it. I'm too old. I'm going to always be fat. What's the point? You know, all of those voices that hold us back from 
really moving forward because you and and so other so many other women you'll start something a diet a cleanse join a gym with mm-hmm. full intention with motivation up to the brim and then two weeks later three weeks later the moment one of those voices kick in you fall to the yeah. wayside and it's like you know you just pay for a gym membership for a whole year and you maybe showed up the first two weeks of the year yeah. and so that's why it's so integral the mindset component you know and we just give you a tiny little taste of that in that you know consultation that discovery call yes make you realize okay look you want to lose that 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, 100%. I'm all about that. But to be honest, I don't care that you lose the weight. What I care about is that you lose the weight and you never put it on again. Mm -hmm. And that can only happen if we work on those automatic negative thoughts that are imprisoning you. Yep. You know, and, and that's tied to how you look at yourself in the mirror. So many women look at themselves in the mirror and they don't recognize the image and they, and that image is not the image that they see in their head. And there's such a disconnect and through the mindset coaching, you know, with, with forgiveness activities and, you know, personal development coaching and, you know, we even utilize the five love languages and learning truly how to um, not just love others, especially the ones who have hurt you, but to love yourself because we are our worst critic. Yeah. And so you never, and I remember, you know, your first year with us, you did not miss a call. You were on no. point. You were yeah. present. You were yeah. ready, willing, and able to go to those uncomfortable places. And that's the type of women we want to work with where they don't want a quick fix. Yeah. It was, listen, it was a journey. It really was. It was a journey. And I think in the beginning, you know, especially after that first meeting, and I went home and I made that decision. I talked over with my husband. I said, this is going to be a journey. Yeah. This is not, this is, I'm making a change for the rest of my life. Yes. And for me, this is a journey and this is going to be way bigger than joining a gym. Yes. Um, this is going to be life changing for me. And you're absolutely right. I, I committed um, and I did the work and I did the work on myself. And, you know, literally um, everything always came back to freedom. And, and that's one of my my core words. It's it's what defines me now. It's freedom. Um, yes. and I, I did, I, I did the work and I freed myself. I don't let those sin natures take over anymore. Well, I mean that your, your after picture here, that screams freedom. Oh yeah. Freedom to wear whatever you want, freedom to do whatever you want, because you no longer have emotional weight or physical weight holding you down. Like I just see in that middle picture there, someone who's empowered and free. It's so beautiful to see Tracy, honestly. And so, you know, we're talking about our, our, our program. And, and, um, as you know, our method is called react and it's spelt R three A C T. And so the R3 stands for our three pillars, and we just covered one. Um, We renew your mind with mind shift coaching. The second pillar, we refresh your body with functional fitness. So I would love for you to share, you know, especially when we pivoted 100% online, you know, and I mean, to this day, in this present moment, gyms are still closed. Yes. So we are still able to Uh, lead you and guide you with our online workouts. We even have our coaches teaching virtual live workouts. Um, Can you, and and we also have women of all different shapes and sizes, women who have to lose 20 pounds, 20 pounds, all the way up to a hundred pounds. And yet they're able, we're able to serve them. You know, once upon a time, um, you know, in that, if we look at that before picture, that woman could not do the physical activity that she can do now. Uh So can you share about how with our functional fitness, um, you know, and and how we use the movement and, and meet you where you are and then help you and encourage you and support you and develop you to get to where you are now. Can you share that journey? Yeah. I mean, you know, it was, it was a, a, the journey did change for me. We when we went online for sure. And I think what you offer 
um, to people is really anybody can do it. There are variations to every single exercise that you present to us. And I think even when we're in the midst of doing that exercise, you're still encouraging, you know, if you can try to challenge yourself Mm -hmm. and, you know, try to go for the more progressive move. And I think for me, when we moved online, I'd already reached that point where I was already doing some of the more progressive moves. Mm -hmm. Um, But you do allow, I think, you know, we have groups. There's Mm -hmm. there's many groups of ladies that come together, that meet to do these classes together online. Um, I know I meet with some of my former people that I connected with in the early days. Um, Mm -hmm. We motivate each other. Um, I think that's a really great feature is you can, you can learn, you can meet new people, these people, all shapes and sizes, and nobody cares. We're all just trying to achieve our own goals and we're all supportive of each other. There are no, there's no judgy eyes. There's no, no reason to feel insecure. Even folks that can do the progressive moves are more than supportive to help those that need encouragement to do maybe some of the lighter or, you know, the alternative moves. Yes. Um, We're all here to support each other because at the end of the day, we all want to make ourselves better. We all want to get to that place where we're free. I think really that's a universal thing. I think it's for everybody. Everybody's trying to free themselves one way or another, right? Mm -hmm. Of, Of things that have weighed them down. 100% freedom from those voices in your head that are imprisoning you, freedom from the excess weight that is holding you back from doing the activities that you love. And speaking of that, you know, you mentioned that you were envious, you know, in your before picture of those people that run, but now what is it that you're doing and accomplishing Tracy? I'm running. (laughs) I'm running. You know, it's running is a journey for me, too. It's a love hate journey. I always used to watch people running and say, I want to be able to do it. I just want to I want to be able to do that. My husband would run. And, you know, even as that girl in that before picture, you know, I had signed up for some five K's and but it was laborious. It was, you know, um, it was a struggle for me. Um, I needed to lose the weight to kind of get my running confidence a bit too. Um, mm-hmm. But now, yeah, now I would say I'm a full-fledged runner, you know? You are 100% a runner now. I, I meet, you know, I meet with my R3, you know, there's an R3 lady that I'm I'm good friends with and we meet and we do buddy runs together and, she, you know, yes. I'm helping her to train to run. She really wants to learn and we're doing that together on the side and I'm actually enjoying that. I was nervous, you know, to take that on and and help somebody else um, because I put a lot of pressure on myself too, but I'm really enjoying that. And yeah, who would have thought? I mean, on a journey, um, I still have a journey to run a half marathon or a goal to run a half marathon. I've been sidetracked a little bit, but it's still there. And I know I'm going to achieve it. I know I'm going to be able to do it. Um, It's just, you know, getting right back into that habit again. You know, I want to honor the fact that you are so confident in, I know I'm going to do it. Whereas Mm -hmm. that woman in that before picture, that's a different story. But the fact that your confidence level has grown and increased so, so much that you, you didn't even, you know, twitch in saying, I know I'm going to run a half marathon. It was just like, it flowed out of you. And I just want to honor you because imagine not too long ago, you didn't even think you could run, you know, a block. Yes. And now you're like, I'm going to run a half marathon. Yeah, like, I know. It's going to happen. You know, and I know I can do it. Wonderful. It's wonderful. And I know you can do it too. And I love that confidence. I know I can do it because so many women come to us they don't have that type of confidence mm-hmm. where they are, they're just so trapped in their head and in their body that they can't even see themselves mm-hmm. wearing a bikini. I know this bikini. I, I remember you sharing, this was the first <laughs> time you've ever worn, worn a bikini and you turned 50. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, 50 <laughs> and fabulous wearing a bikini. And my goodness, you know, I, I truly hope that, you know, and pray that you inspire so, some of our listeners here because it's possible. 
You wore a bikini oh. for the very first time at 50. You're yeah. running, preparing for half marathons at 51 and 52. It is possible. It is possible. And I got to tell you that picture, the story behind that picture too. I had done um, a, a, a HIIT workout that day. It was a class that you had offered. I had done that HIIT workout and I came out of that. I was like, man, I'm just, I'm feeling so good. I'm going to go run now. I went and ran a 5k, which wasn't a lot. Well, it's a lot, but I went and ran a 5k after I did that HIIT workout uh, on a hot day. And wow. I came back and I showered and I don't know why, because I had promised you coach that I was going to do this. Yes. Um, and I'm like, you know what? By dang it, I'm putting on that bikini today. Yes. And I'm just, I didn't, I like, I didn't even do my hair for God's sake. So when I did it, I just. But you still rock that thing. It's I your confidence. Yes. yes. Like, I it's your confidence that shines yes. through. And I, I just have to also, um, I don't know if you caught it, but you said, I did a hit workout, then I ran a 5K. No big deal. <laughs> I'm like, who is this woman? She's <laughs> she's become like, she's Wonder Woman. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me as your coach, Tracy, because I know where you've been. And yeah. now what you're saying with confidence, like it's no big yeah. deal and that you're able to conquer anything. It's so beautiful to hear. So, yeah. you know, a huge part of your transformation is um, as well, our third pillar. So we covered the first two. We renew your mind with mind shift coaching. We refresh your body with functional functional fitness, and we restore your health with mindful nutrition. And the very basics that we teach you, because we want you to be able to hit, live a healthy lifestyle. Life. In other words, you should be able to do this for the rest of your life with tools such as palm portion control, you know, getting your water in, um, you know, your, your, um, uh, uh, really the accountability of ensuring that you're getting healthy whole foods into your diet, yeah. cutting out the crap, yeah. reducing the sugar, but really just being mindful of what you eat. And, you know, we teach you off the bat, when you are tempted to eat eat something or drink something, number one, are you going to feel guilty after you eat it? Mm -hmm. Number two, are you going to be able to stop after one bite? And number three, is this moving you towards your goal or away from your goal? Yeah. That and being mindful and portion, learn, mastering portions, you really have continued you you yeah. you hit your goal weight pre-covid and yep. the beautiful thing is tracy is throughout this whole pandemic you've been able to maintain it <laughs> and yeah. when you're within like a five pound yes. you know kind of flex flexibility from your actual goal weight and that's perfect yeah and so like how how um was our you nutrition coaching, guidance, and accountability. How was that different from any other program that you've tried before? Well, the, nothing, nothing ever offered that before, to be honest, anything that I ever tried, you know, good life or, you know, even Weight Watchers, they throw some stuff at you and you're off on your own to try to figure it out on your, on your own. Mm -hmm. um, there's no accountability. It's, you know, here's, here's your points on what you can eat, but who's, who's, you know, helping you through that? Nobody. Um, so it wasn't really offered anywhere else. And I think here, you know, you started off, I remember, you know, getting the booklets, um, online when I first started and, and reading all of the nutrition stuff and, and doing that first, um, I think it was the 21 day sugar detox. Yeah. Um, and that was huge for me, <laughs> huge cutting out that sugar. I didn't realize even how much sugar I had in my diet until I started to cut it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then just, you know, taking the, the food selfies um, mm -hmm. and showing you, I was nervous to do that and to show it to the world in the beginning what I ate, but it was really helpful because one, it helped me look at, oh my God, you, you really are kind of putting some crappy stuff into your mouth. And then as I got a handle on my nutrition, you know, um, it was good for you and my other coaches to see it too, because there was offering of advice. Yeah. Um, on how I could improve or, you know, maybe tweak something or, oh, you said you, you had a sugar craving today. Hey, have you tried this? 
that yeah. might help you with your sugar craving, right? Um, so that opened up a whole other world and helped me um, to put some tools in a toolkit for me on how I could get a handle on my nutrition. And I think honestly that I, and, and you, and I've said it to you before, like I didn't really do anything special. For mm -hmm. me, it was all about my water intake and still mm -hmm. is today. Every mm -hmm. day I have a goal to get over two liters of water into me. Mm -hmm. um, so water intake, it was reducing my carbs. I didn't, didn't do any keto diets or anything. I know that works for some. For me, I, I wanted sustainability for me mm -hmm. um, and something that I could share with my family as well. Yes. And I really, for me, I reduced my carb. I, you know, made sure my protein was on point and, you know, lots and lots of veg. Yes. Um, that's, that's, my life and that's how I lead my life. Do I eat carbs today? Yeah, I mean, you know, carbs sneak their way back in, but I do not allow carbs to take over my diet like I did before. Well, that's the thing. You you're now mindful, right? And you know, we don't um like in terms of restrictions, obvious the we 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 restrict the obvious ones, yeah. right? We restrict the obvious ones, but we, like you said, we provide guidance as to, okay, if you have a sweet tooth, let's try this. If, if you have a salty tooth, let's try this. Okay, you can eat that, but just watch your portions, right? And, you know, every body is different. And so within our program, you know, there everyone is on a different plan. Not, it's it's not a one size fits all. Like you notice, like some of our women are on, if it fits your macro, some of our women are on the fast metabolism diet. Some of our women are on palm portion control. Some of our women are practicing intermittent fasting. And that's the thing. It shouldn't be a one size fits all because everybody right. is different. And mm -hmm. so um, you spoke a little bit about the the food selfies and that is uh you know when we, when it comes to react so you have your three pillars and then the act stands for accountability community and time and we touched upon that accountability already um you know we do ask you to take food selfies we also ask you to take sweaty selfies yeah. so that especially online it's so easy if you were on your own just doing online workouts it's so easy not to do it because yeah. nobody cares whether you do it or not but yeah. for Yes, we care. And we ask you after, immediately after you your workout, take your sweaty selfie. We want to see you sparkle. We want to make sure that you got it done. And, you know, we start off with our beginners at least three times a week, which is totally doable, you know, because we work with women just like you who are super, super busy. But we ask bare minimum three times a week, 20 to 30 minutes, because we have workouts that are that length. And so, you know, we really teach you how to um, make it a part of your lifestyle so that it's not overwhelming. And mm -hmm. then eventually you realize, wow, I, I actually love working out and our women yeah. become addicted to working out, especially yeah. ones who never used to work out before or have been uh, inconsistent their whole life. It's so funny that that extra layer, uh, a layer of accountability, how it also helps you fall in love with working out. And I know you do because yeah. you, like you said immediately after the hit workout, you're like, I feel good. And you went for a run. And so <laughs> it really, truly gives you energy and superpowers. It does. Um, and you also talked about uh, the community. So we'll just touch upon, and I, and, I, and I spoke of time, the T stands for time. And I just you know yeah. mentioned that we teach you how to um, utilize your time well. We teach you where to fit in your workouts, uh, best practices for meal prepping, you know, morning and evening rituals. But, when, when, but one that I really want to just take a moment to touch upon is the community where mm -hmm. our ladies are unbelievably supportive, yep. so loving. Can you share your experience with the community oh. inside our three? I am so blessed to have found this community. I really am. I have, I know I went into this never realizing that I would also make lifelong friendships. There are people in this community that I know will be in my life for the rest of my life. Um, and, and that includes you, Coach Crystal, Coach Nelson, um, you know, the other coaches and the lovely ladies that I've bonded with. Um, everyone is very supportive and I'm not, it's not, I'm not saying this any kind of a hokey way. It really is the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone is very supportive. Um, and you do connect with people, you do make friendships, um, and you, you it's, it's, we're there for each other. 
you know, and some of the ladies I know better than others, but it doesn't matter. I support everyone and I know everyone supports me and we cheer each other on when we post our sweaty selfies, you know, everybody will hit their like or their heart or their like way to go. Um, even with food, right? Like you'll, you'll see somebody post something and go, Oh, that looks really good. Give me the rest. Can you give me the recipe for that? Yes. Sure. No problem. Or somebody might share that they had maybe a not so great day and that just, it helped them to release in that moment there. It's a closed group. You're yes. safe. And yes. you'd be surprised at how many people jump in to support you and in an effort to lift you back up again and, and bring your spirits up. Um, there really is no place like it. Um, there's no, um, no gym that can mim mimic uh, what you will find here and the personalization of it. Yes. And it's yeah. like you said, everybody, the, everybody's on a different food plan. That's yeah. personalized personalization. Everybody's yeah. going through a different mindset journey. They're, they're, yes. they're going through their own um, journeys. That's yeah. personal. And everybody has their personal fitness goals and their personal levels that they can achieve in fitness. So but we, we do it all together. That's it. And that's, that's the beauty of, you know, being um, in a community. We, we call ourselves a tribe because mm -hmm. we truly are, we're, we're a family in there and we look out for each other. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things, especially during this time where, oh man, there's so much uncertainty. And with, you know, the, the communities that we used to have might be kind of put it at a pause or a halt right now, depending on where you are in the world. So this community, I know for a fact has helped so many, so many of our women as well get through this pandemic because yes. of the love and the extra support and a safe place to share. And, you know, we um, also offer support calls specifically for that reason mm -hmm. where, you know, if someone falls off, they can attend our deepening your why call with, with one of our coaches, because, you know, we understand life happens and it's a call to kind of press the reset button yeah. because before then, because no one was keeping you accountable, you one day of not working out as an example would turn into three, would turn in all star to Monday. It would turn into all star on the first of the month would turn into, you know what? Ah, oh, forget it. Whereas here we're like, no, 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 no. Come back, come back. <laughs> really back in. You have your monthly check-ins with me. Come back. Yeah. Right. You have your, your, the serenity support call with one of our other coaches, which yeah. is the perfect safe space to share when you're going through some, some rough times. Right. Yeah. Because we understand that. And this is why it's more than a weight loss program. You yeah. know, we really, we, 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 we are a mind body transformation and personal development coaching program, personal development yeah. coaching program. So, you know, there might be, you know, women in our audience trace that, have been listening to this or watching this and they're just like, Oh my goodness. Like, I know I need to do something. And the very first step that they need to make is literally book a call with me yeah. where we would, you know, they would book a time on my calendar schedule. They would, it would be a zoom call and we would have a conversation. And it, it's really just an opportunity for me to get to know if, you know, they're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for them. And if we're not that that's okay. Yeah. But what would you say to that woman who's maybe listening right now? There is an opportunity to book a discovery call, but they're afraid. What would you say to her? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There is so much that you can learn. There's so much to learn about yourself. Let that fear drive you. I, I know I said, don't be afraid, but if you can't control it, let that fear drive you to, to calling because mm -hmm. being uncomfortable will unlock so much in your life and will take you to a new place um, that you never thought possible. Mm -hmm. I know when I first started, I never thought it was possible. I really didn't. Um, and I was scared. Um, but I still, I took that leap of faith. I, I just did it. Um, just do it. Don't be mm -hmm. afraid. There's lots of people here on this side to support you and help you through your journey. Don't be afraid. And you know, your, I would love for you as we wrap up, Trace, to share what have been not just your weight loss and inches uh, results, but how have you changed in mind, body, and spirit? Oh, wow. I've, you know, I, well, it's like you said, too, like, I believe in myself now. I believe in myself. I believe I'm going to run the half marathon. I know I will. 
I know I am capable of so much. Uh, I've shocked myself with even my fitness journey and what I can do. Um, you know, I just, I believe in myself now. Um, and, and that's all because of, you know, the work that I've done and the work that I've done with our three and the amazing coaches at our three. And then you've lost, I think 50 pounds, correct? Yeah. yeah. 50 pounds, 50 pounds. And you've kept it off. Yeah. Been, I think all, we'll be marking almost two years that you've been able to keep yes. it off. Yes. And that is remarkable, honestly, Trace. And yeah. I and I truly believe it's because of your mindset. Yeah. And you've been, you know, we've 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 helped you develop this lifestyle that you can be consistent with, mm -hmm. that you know that there's a community that's going to support you no matter what, because we're not perfect. And you know, although we we fail, we fail forward, right? Yeah. And we pick you back up. And so, like you said, you know, you, you are, you truly are unstoppable. You truly are. So, um, you know, I just want to thank you, Tracy. You are such an inspiration because again, like from, from where I'm sitting, I know exactly where you were yeah. and to speak and see the woman that you are today. It's so beautiful and it's so inspirational. And I just pray that, you know, for someone out there, you're listening or you're watching Tracy right now. It is possible for you. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You can do this. Amazing. Well, thank you, Tracy, for being a feature on her story on the Get Crystallized show. You know how much I love you. I am so, so, so proud of you. I'm just in awe of your, like more than, than the weight loss is your mindset. And to me, that's what matters most mindset yep. matters most. And so thank you for sharing your heart. Thank you for sharing your experience. Thank you for sharing your story. And, you know, you will have women, amazing women, just like Tracy, you join our family who will, you know, be there cheering you on, supporting you. Um, and, mm -hmm. and you can, you know, tap on their shoulder when, yep. you know, when you're feeling blue, when you're feeling down, when you need a hand, all of our women are so great like that. And so I want to encourage you now to go ahead and book that call because you have nothing to lose but emotional and physical weight. Yep. 100%. Oh, thank you so much, Tracy. Um, I, I'm definitely going to have to have you again on the show because you are what awesome looks like. Thank you, ladies, oh, so, so much. You. And we'll see you next time on the Get Crystallized show. Have a great day, everybody.